for y'all. What was it like returning back to civilian life after traveling the world and doing y'all thing? It was okay. Yeah. yeah. It was okay because we, I'm, I'm going to tell you, because we're humble. Mm-hmm. We was never not humble. Mm-hmm. Even when we was the dirty boys, we were still humble. We yeah. always knew what home was. We never strayed away or stunted on the people that gave us that push to get to the top. That's why we're able to still go back to the neighborhoods we're from and still live in Montgomery, Alabama, and nobody has never touched a hair on our head in our city. Mm-hmm. We're the OGs. We know real killers that's down there really killing, but respect us to call us, yes, sir, but OG, but I yes, love sir. y'all nigga. And we know this nigga just killed somebody. You know what I'm saying? Come on. So it's a respect that we had. So when we went back to civilian life, mm-hmm. it was a shift because we was used to 30, 40,000 a week doing mm-hmm. five or six shows. Yeah. So now, them shows don't come like that. Yeah. Now, we still get them. And out of a 12-month span, you got maybe two shows a month. Yeah. Sometime it might go three months, and then you get a show. Mm-hmm. And then it go a month, you get a show. Then the rest of the year, you ain't getting now. Yeah. So now, what I'm going to do as a man, and I got six kids, what I'm going to do as a man, and my biggest fear is having to tell my kids no because I got to yeah. versus tell them no because I want to. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yep. That's two big different things. So it is. When yep. your kids ask you some, you ask you what you need it for. Well, Dad, I got to get this for my class. Or the shit, nah, I can't get it to you. Yeah. You ain't even a, me. To me, you're not even a man at that point. Yeah. When you got to tell them no like that versus what you need it for. Man, EJ come out. They four hundred dollars. <laughs> Hell no. He ain't getting no. Get some New Balance. I give you four hundred dollars, but you gonna get exactly. three pound New Balance. Come on. And get you some blah blah blah, right. and say put the rest of it in your pocket and take your girlfriend out to eat. And you can buy an outfit versus buying a pair of joints. Yeah. They come out every year. Right. Fuck all it. Wanting to tell them no versus having Having to to tell them no. That's some real shit right there. I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid. That's a big fear for me. That's why I got so many hustles now in the trucking business. Yeah. Owning a restaurant. Yeah. Got my own tax company. Yes, sir. Got a salon. Because when my kids call me now, I got two sons that's in the Navy. Mm. But they're still my babies. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, Dad, you got $50 you can send me. I'm like, well, what is you doing with your money? (laughs) Send me your cash out again. I just sent it to you last week. Send it again. I ain't finna look for it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk shit to them, right. but we still gonna send it. Come on now. Your kids got to be able to come to you no matter what yeah. age they are. Mm-hmm. And you got to be, as a man, to do that shit to get it. So I don't work Hyundai plants. Yeah. Man, I walked in the hunt. My first job since my job before the Dirty Boys mm-hmm was one of the Hyundai plants called Movis. They made the bumpers for the Hyundais. Mm-hmm. As you know, in Montgomery, we got like, shit, probably 10, probably 10 factories yeah. that yeah. build the Hyundai cars. Yeah. From the bumpers, you got one place to just do the frames of the car. You got Hyundai plant to put the car together. You yeah. got this one that only do bumpers. So it's so many jobs in Montgomery, and I jumped on board. Man, I yeah. got to get a job. You know what I'm saying? We making... Four five thousand dollars a show, but a show is coming far and in between. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. We writing for people, but money coming in between. Man, we got to get jobs. Yeah, damn that money we was getting. Why the fuck we weren't saving it like we needed to? Mm, right. Let's get a job. Yeah. I walk in the plant the first day. Niggas looking. Man, I got on my fucking uh, dickies because you got to have on dickies. <laughs> yeah. Your staff shirt because mm-hmm. you working for a temp service. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, this 2008, bro, I don't went from being the Dirty Boys, one of the coldest groups. It was to humbling myself enough to go get trained by a nigga that used to buy our music and looked at me as an OG. Bro, yeah. just show me how to do that bumper right. I'm yeah. trying to make sure I keep that job. Yeah. I ain't worried about it. Man, I love y'all shit, but that pimp in the gang. So, yeah, bro, but it's shit, up. man, he the man coming. It's real. We ain't finna get in trouble. Is why you <laughs> talking about the dirty boy shit. Man, <laughs> fuck this dirty boy shit. Show me how to load these bumpers on that thing right so I can get this check. Yeah. I got bills to pay. Yeah. Man, that shit taught me, boy. I did that shit two years, three years. I like, no, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard for me to be 
to clock in on somebody clock. Yeah. Coming from a boss. Yeah. And clocking in on somebody clock. That shit different. Yeah. I had to go back to being a boss. I went and got in, got my uh, CDLs. Yeah. Got on a nigga truck for two years. Saved my money wearing the same house shoes. Come I had on a pair of fle- fila house shoes that I wore for two years straight on my truck and made me a hundred and sixty thousand. Come on. Bought my own truck. Started me a trucking company. I ain't looked back since. Come on. Got a restaurant. Built it up from the ground. The Yummy Grill. Montgomery, Alabama. 323 Outbase Boulevard. Why I do the turkey legs? I'm the only one in the city doing turkey legs. Ooh. Doing 300 turkey legs. You brought us now turkey legs. <laughs> I should have brought you one. I built that company. That I built that company up. <laughs> and I just sold that company. Yeah. Yeah, so man, now I opened up a tax business. And yeah. we're doing good. I'm thriving. Yeah. It's hard to go from that to that. Now, I don't knock nobody to do it, but it's just hard for me yeah. to take that from somebody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I had to go back to being a boss. It might fuck with you. Damn, well, we were doing arenas. Yeah, We were doing this. But as a man, and what I respect about any man that's out there that's knowing what you got to do, and you do it. Come on, man. Man, you know how I felt going to the break room, bro? After being the dirty boys, yeah. now I got to go to the break room and eat a sandwich, sit down, people looking at me, not not, not down in me, but I'm just looking like, damn, this where I'm at? I supposed to been way. I understand down to the team. I understand. Bro, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We supposed to be so farther than what we are because me and Gangster was two of the coldest. Yeah. And we supposed to have been so far, but looking at us now, we stay strong. We still getting it. We still doing shows. I'm doing plays where I write plays in Montgomery and I throw them. Uh, we writing movies. Like, we're, we're doing so much stuff now that we done left, not left the music world, mm-hmm. but we learned to survive without it. Exactly. We do it because it's still fun and we can. Like I just spit that verse. That yeah. was off mm-hmm. our album before the last one called Feel Niggas. Yeah. One of the hardest albums. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? So we still got the skills. We still can write for people, ghost write for people, and we still do verses. Mm-hmm. So we still do music for the fun, but when it comes down to the nitty gritty, man, we're going to get on a job. Yeah. we going to work. we going to grind. A lot of rappers now. need to hear yeah. that. That death. That's the realest shit I don't heard a motherfucker say don't came up in here. We don't, I, we don't interview to everybody. Yeah, because everybody yeah. want to be this. They want to be that. They, yeah. they want to come with this persona that they getting it. Man, when you leave out of here, you better be back to the E4 job to clock in. <laughs> come on now. Man, we was the Dirty Boys. We was the Dirty Boys, and we did it, and we lived it. Bro, I had to get on people's jobs. Man, I done did jobs I ain't want to fucking do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. He done did jobs he didn't want to do, right. but he got two kids. Come three on. kids. Three. Come on. Mm-hmm. I got six. I better make sure I'm at this plant and I got these steel toe boots on and my goggles and my hard hat. I'm going to talk shit to these niggas on this flow, but at the same time, bro, we got to get back on the flow. Exactly. And I'm going to get back to my job. I'm driving a tractor. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm picking up paper. When you ain't big, you got a boss man talking to you. This nigga younger than you. When you ain't biz, man, y'all need to pick up all that. Man. <laughs> bro, you got to hum- you got to humble yourself to a point where you see, boy, you hey. Yeah. But see, got- the thing is, though, it takes that to make you oh, do what you want to do. I ain't right. never going back you to that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes that. You got right. to feel that. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? But then also, like I tell folks all the time, because folks be like, B, how long you do that? Why don't you do that? I said, I'm not gonna stress myself out. Right. Trying to look a certain way for every goddamn body mm-hmm. and Thanks. be a certain type of way for everybody. Mm-hmm. You're going to get my black ass broke me whether right. I'm rich or poor. I don't give a damn. If you don't like me for me, goddamn it, you can go to fucking hell. Because right. I don't give a fuck. Right. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to say this too. I don't, everything that you don't say, it's like, bro, it's like, I'm y'all brother, man. <laughs> right. And, 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 right. And everybody in here knows it. So, <laughs> right. they, you know, be high, know it. Right. What y'all damn. talking about. Yeah. yeah. And, I'm going to say this to you. That job and stuff that humbled you, right? Yeah. You were being judged then. Oh, yeah. Because it's been, it would have been easy for you. Ego is the number one thing that kills, especially black men. Mm-hmm. And not mm-hmm. just physically kill you. Mm-hmm. Emotionally kill you. Right. Mm-hmm. And 
for years I wouldn't do that. Right. Because I was the same way. I'm wicked from ghetto mafia. Right, 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 right. Everything you don't say it. You above that. Exa- exactly. Right. But I, when I humbled myself, just like what y'all said, mm-hmm. and made it about the kids, about right. everybody's bigger than me now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then along comes B highs. Right. I ain't know the man from Adam. Right. But the blessings came because I was able to humble myself as a man mm. and do what the fuck I'm supposed to do for my family. Right. So my creator, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in a certain creator. Like I'm not gonna say it's a god or a lamb or right. everybody got right. their own thing. <coughs> right. 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 But my creator saw fit since I humbled myself. Right. That'll bring somebody in and say, "Hey, that nigga helped me too." It ain't no one way street. No, no, right. you, yeah. did, you, yeah. did, you yeah. did, you did, you yeah. did. But look, but yeah. look, but look. I'm happier now. Than I yeah. ever been making way more money, money yeah. than I was getting back then. You got a peace of mind. I got a peace of mind. Yeah. Now, I tell you that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I, I, I just say that man that you, <coughs> nobody has ever sat here. You know, I don't heard all kind of game. I right. got game. Mm-hmm. You got game. Every game, Everybody. game recognize game. Right. Yeah, but that's real. Yeah. And, and most motherfuckers won't give you real. No, they won't give you real. They want you to look at them in a certain light. They want to run with the Joneses. And they want to be this. No, bro. I got steel toe boots in my closet right now. If I got to go back, I just have to go back. <clears throat> I don't want to. It's too much pressure. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Folks put unnecessary pressure on, on themselves. Try to live up to folks that don't give a fuck about them. Right. These folks don't give a damn. They don't even know damn. him. They can't. They ain't shitting what you eat. No, so why am no I bills. doing that? You see what I'm saying? Ain't paying no bills. Ain't taking care of your yeah, kids. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. I ain't trying to impress them. 